Hello, my friends. This is Mike from Seawater Pro. This is also Mike from Seawater Pro. Today, we're going to talk about the Piranha, the new compact water maker. This thing is so easy to install. Why is it so easy to install, Mike? Well, it's it's easy to install because we did all the work here at the factory, Mike. We uh, we have pre-wired it and pre-plumbed it. Uh, there is very few connections and it's as compact and as simple to install in your boat as any other water maker. So I should be able to power this with an extension cord off my boat from any outlet that works and I should be able to just turn this on with the breakers? That is absolutely correct. Here is an example. Let's say this extension cord is coming from my boat's generator or a handheld generator or an inverter. All you have to do is plug in the unit and then connect the motor right here to this outlet and uh, that's pretty much all the electrical connections you have. So that's the electrical setup, that's it? That's it. So next is plumbing? Next is plumbing. So and what do we do for plumbing? I, I guess we're going to start with our boost pump which is the first start of our system. That is, that is exactly right. The very first thing is a small strainer which is not included but it doesn't have to be anything fancier than what this is. This is $20 on Amazon and uh, this will filter any big stuff before it gets to the boost pump. The boost pump is the first in line of defense, so if anything gets in here, it will, uh, this filter will keep from uh, stopping the, uh, the boost pump operation. Uh, right after that, we use push to connect connectors. These are very common. Uh, you will find these on a lot of boats these days, the latest and greatest, they're all push connect. So you connect they follow the diagram, the diagram, the schematic diagram of what to connect is printed on the label itself. And you start with the boost pump, the water goes to the check valve from the check valve. Uh, all these fittings, they have O-rings, so you don't even need Teflon tape. You just thread it by hand and as soon as it bottoms out, that is good enough. It goes to the pre-filter, again, another push to connect connector. Uh, again, this, this is also O-ring connector, no need for Teflon tape, no need for Teflon tape here, no need for Teflon tape. This would be your low pressure indicator. This is really what pressure this boost pump generates after it going through the filter. So if we get into the red zone, that means that our filter is, is, is uh, dirty and it's time to replace it. And this works for the modular system as well? The, yes, this, this the modular works. system has two filters and this system we have just one filter. So just like the modular, this makes a lot of water, 30 to 35 gallons is what the system's rated for, but I don't see any membranes. Uh, on the modular systems you see these big long membranes. Uh, in this case I don't see them. Where You're they are? You're talking at? about these. These, these are what I'm talking about. You've these probably are the seen membranes these. you get with the modular system. They measure 43 inches from tip to tip. The membranes for the piranha are this size. So these now are hidden behind the control panel. So how many of these do we have? We have four of these instead of two big ones. Okay. And they make almost the same amount of water, not quite as much as the two big ones, uh, but definitely the size shrinks down to a very compact uh, 22 inches wide by 16 inches tall. Okay. And it goes back about three inches. Okay. And yeah. just like the modular, there's, I see this is a panel and we don't necessarily have a remote panel, but yep. this is all part of being compact. So exactly. where the system's going to be mounted and uh, permanently installed, you have everything, every instrument that you need right here to operate your system. That would be the remote control panel of a modular system. This is now bolted into the same uh, board as the membranes. Okay. So instead of having this and having to mount it somewhere else, everything is in one place. Okay. And I noticed this is pretty small. I could probably fit this in a cabinet or even under a kitchen sink. Under a kitchen sink is where most people install it. That's exactly right. So it seems it makes a decent amount of water. It's very easy to install. There's no electrical that we have to deal with. We're going to have some plumbing with our boost pumps. But other than that, this system seems super easy to set up. What would you say? Yeah, I would say it's very simple to install and also very simple to operate. There's three steps of operation and they're labeled here. One, two, three. Turn on the boost pump, turn on the high pressure pump, dial the pressure to 800 PSI. Why do we want to turn the boost pump on first? 
The boost pump we want to turn on first to make sure that there is water in the system and we don't run the second pump, which is the high pressure pump, dry. Uh, if the pump is, ran, uh, is allowed to run dry for extended time, it will harm the pump. So all you do is turn the system on, just look at the pressure, make sure there is positive pressure, and then immediately after that you may turn on the second pump. Does having four smaller membranes as opposed to two larger ones, does that, is that going to affect how long the membranes last? No, system? that does not affect the life expectancy, but it does affect the, the price of replacing the membranes because now you have four membranes, although they're smaller, unfortunately they cost the same as a 40 inch membrane. Okay. So keep that in mind. It doubles the cost of when you have to replace the membranes. Membranes are good for typically three to five years in a boat environment, but uh, it is twice as much as replacing two 40 inch membranes. So this system looks a little bit different, but it still has all the same features as the modular, am I correct? The pressure regulator, our flow meter, our TDS monitor, our low pressure gauges, everything's still there, even though it's in a little bit different of a configuration. That is correct. Instead of all the gauges being on a remote control panel, now they're here. But there's the same amount of switches, the same amount of gauges that you see, uh, they're available on both systems. Also, the rinse timer is included with every system. Uh, it operates on uh, batteries. To replace the batteries, you pull the tray out, put in two batteries, install it, and set the time for every three days. You need about two gallons uh, when you rinse the system. So estimate that uh, about two gallons of water every three days. So depending whether it's this system, a modular system, where do I connect the, uh, the input for this, or I should say the output from, from where yeah. should this be fed? Uh, what you do is you splice a shower line or a kitchen sink line of pressurized fresh water from your boat and you supply it here. Uh, this timer turns on and uh, this filter here is just strictly for removing the chlorine that may, may be in your tank because you filled up at the dock. So there is city uh, water that has chlorine. So this filter removes the chlorine before it rinses the water maker because chlorine is really uh, hard on the membranes and that's the only reason this filter is here. So if I have no water in my tank and I was going to use city water from the dock or the marina, could I do that from a different source off the boat? Absolutely. When you're plugged in to your marina water, uh, this is getting bypassed. And typically how long does it take to rinse the system? Typically, it takes anywhere from five minutes to 45 minutes, depending Why? on where you left the pressure regulator. If you choose to re lower the pressure every time you turn off the water maker, you will rinse it in less than two minutes. If you left your pressure set for 800 PSI, which is okay with our patented pressure regulator, uh, then uh, it may take 45 minutes. Decide which way you want to do your rinsing, if you're going to be doing, if you're going to be leaving the pressure set for 800, or if you choose to lower the pressure, it's a user preference. So you want to do it. if I leave the pressure regulator at zero PSI and I rinse it in about five minutes, as opposed to leaving it at 800 PSI and it takes 45 minutes, am I still going to use the same amount of water to rinse or that is, is it going to take a lot more water since it takes more time? It takes uh, the same amount of water, it's just only the only thing that changes is the time. So it's the water is just flowing slower to rinse the system? It is flowing slower when the pressure is left at 800 PSI. That's good to know. Uh, the, another question you may, uh, you may be wondering is the uh, power usage. It is the same as our modular system. We use the same pump, same motor exactly, uh, which draws 1,000 watts, so you can run it off your uh, handheld generator or from your inverter. What's, uh, a, what's a good uh, standard number of you know, power I need? What size generator or inverter do I need minimum? Uh, any handheld generator around 2,000 watts, like a Honda EU2000, will work. Also, as far as inverters goes, we recommend a 3,000 watt inverter. Okay. Not so much for the running, but for the startup. The startup draws for about half a second, about 2,500 watts. And so you need a 3,000 watt inverter to start it reliably every time. Okay, and can I maybe cheat it if I get a soft start? Can I get away with that? You can. Uh, we have several customers that use a soft start and they, it will work, absolutely. It will help the startup. Good to know. And that goes with any system we have? That goes with any electrical motor. It could be an air conditioner, it could be a water maker, it could be anything. All right. The system seems super easy to install, super compact. You can get it in a small space. The installation is, is cake. 
Uh, and you can find the system right here at seawaterpro.com. I hope this video answered all your questions. We have more videos available on our resources page on our website. You can call us direct at 954-800-8800. You can send us an email at info at seawaterpro.com. And of course, if you subscribe, you'll get notified for all our future videos.